So this is the Redmi Note 8 Snapdragon and it's using the Android 12 L Central S. In this video I will show you how to customize your phone using the Nusantara OS ok, all the files and instructions I'll provide in my blog so please check the description box you can also use this tutorial for the other custom ROM ok so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, meet again with Om Bob. This time we have a uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. Okay, with the code name is Ginko and it's using the Snapdragon. Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to customize this phone using the Nusantara OS Android 12.1 okay, or the Android 12L. Okay, as you know, that this phone is stuck in Android. Uh, Android 11 and we want to upgrade using a custom ROM okay so before we get started let's take the stock ROM as you can see right here it's using the still using the mu 12.0 on Android 10 so we need to upgrade it the firmware later from the custom recovery okay and let's check the Loader status you can see right here it has been unlocked so we can directly custom respond we don't need we do not need to unlock this spawn again okay so <clears throat> make sure you have removed all the emails and after that you can go to the Facebook mode okay <clears throat> okay let's turn it off and let's go to the Facebook mode okay and the Facebook mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time okay let's press the two button until you see the screen then plug the HP cable Okay, and then let's open the PowerShell. Let's type some command. Fast boot. Space flash. Space recovery. And give it another space. <coughs> yes, and then just click and drag the custom recovery to the PowerShell. Okay, and then we need to go to the custom recovery. Okay, like usual. Let's force reboot the pawn <clears throat> by pressing the volume up and the power button and when the pawn restarted quickly switch uh, quickly release the power button okay <clears throat> volume up power button then wait three seconds one two three one two three and here we go now we are in the <clears throat> custom recovery and here we go now we are in the custom recovery okay and then <clears throat> uh, like usual it's always a good idea to back up the modem so let's go to this menu okay backup create new backup and select this one option for smaller size okay backup and uh, <clears throat> now I want to pick up the modem and EFS. Okay, swipe it. And let's copy to another folder just for cautions. <clears throat> okay, I'll put it in here. Okay, it's already done. Let's copy the file. Ah, where is it? Fox, okay, this one, and uh, let's put it in here. Okay, it's always a good idea. <clears throat> <clears throat> then let's use the screen again. And now we want to 
format the internal storage okay so select this menu uh, sorry so select this menu okay the garbage icon select the format data tab and tap yes okay hit ok and after this we want to go to the custom recovery again okay hit the home button select this menu select reboot and select recovery <clears throat> okay now let's do screen again and we want to copy this file okay this is vanilla base it means that it doesn't include the gaps so we need to separately flash the gaps okay copy this one and let's put it in here uh, okay <clears throat> And we need the gaps. Okay, uh, I'm 64 and with 12 L, and we're using the nick gaps. Okay. <clears throat> okay, it's quite a large file. The size of the Android 12 L is about uh, 1.1 gigabytes. Okay, it's larger than the Android 12. Don't know why. <laughs> okay and uh, let's wait <clears throat> and it's always uh always an option to have in root access so in this tutorial i will flash magis but if you don't want to have a root access you can always skip flashing magis okay we need to we need to copy the firmware update Okay, this is the firmware update. Okay, the size is 68 megabyte. Okay, it is not a full firmware, just firmware update. Okay, let's paste it in here. Okay, let's go to here, this stress icon. And we need to wipe the Delphi gas and data. Swipe it. Okay, let's go to this option and select the firmware update. Okay, swipe it. <clears throat> you can see there is progress updating. It's uh, this small size. Go back and now let's flash the custom ROM. Okay, and let's wait. It takes times because it has a large file. And it's already done. Now we need to hit the home button, select reboot, and go to recovery again. Okay. Maybe some of you guys will have a question why I need to go to the custom recovery again. From my experience, sometimes you will get a problem if you directly flash the gaps. So to avoid the problem, we need to go to the custom recovery and then. Uh, flash the gaps okay let's flash the gaps and add mages okay as i said before mages is an options so you, you do not need to flash the mages if you don't want to have root access <clears throat> okay it's almost done and okay now it's flashing the mages and seems i forgot one more files okay uh okay let's copy the file and uh, you need to disable force encrypt to install on this custom rom okay <clears throat> because uh it will make your pawn boot loop if you don't install this file okay Okay, let's do this again. <clears throat> and let's select the disable force encrypt or the EFA. Okay, so this is the last file we needed. <clears throat> then after that, 
can format our pawn okay this is uh, mandatory so you have to install the file okay let's go to this icon format data and fps okay and we can reboot to the system okay so don't forget i will also include the file <coughs> and <clears throat> usually when installing custom rom it's much more faster than the stock rom so it will not take time okay you can see right here now the boot logo is changing from the mio logo now it's using the nusantara os logo okay okay this step is basically the same for all the custom rom for this pawn okay in this video we're using the nusantara os but you can use another other custom rom and the step is basically the same okay i will also uh create a list for the custom custom rom if you want to <clears throat> and here we go now we are in the home screen okay I will stop this video and we are going to try to make a quick review about this ROM. Okay, so, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so now we are using the Android 12 L. Again, okay, I'm going to make a quick review about this ROM. Okay, is it quite stable enough or not for the driver? Okay, the first thing I want to test is the. <coughs> GPS. Okay, so let's open the map, <coughs> and I want to make sure that the GPS is running. Okay, so let's open the map and check the location. And here we go. <coughs> now it seems that it's good enough. It's in the my location, so sometime you need to calibrate the phone. To have a uh, accurate position okay so this GPS is working <clears throat> and now let's check the email is it safe or not okay you can see right here we have our email so there's no problem with the email and the sim card also working and the wi-fi also working okay so there is no problem with the sim card and wi-fi and let's open mages because I have installed mages for you guys that need to look at access. <clears throat> you can see right here. I'm using the latest one 25.2 and it's working. Okay, let's install an apps to test the root access. <clears throat> okay, let's install the root checker just for fun. Okay, let's open it and here we go it's grinded and we have root access on our node 8 okay and next i want to test the sound and video playback okay so let's play some youtube video music and let's see if the sound is working in the video Oh, nice. The music and video playback is working properly. Okay. And for the next test, I'm going to take a picture and also record a video. You can see right here we have two camera. This is the Xiaomi camera. You can see right here it's saying like Xiaomi and this is the camera from the ROM. Okay, let's take the test. <coughs> the first thing I want to do is take a picture from the back camera. Then as the uh, video okay I will show you later the result 
Okay, hello guys, now I'm recording using the back camera and I will stop this one. Okay, let's now use the front camera. Uh, let's take a picture right here and also record the video. Okay, hello guys, now I'm recording using the front camera and let's stop this one. Okay, let's check the result. Let's open the gallery. And this is the result from the back camera. Uh, this is the video. Let's play the video. Okay, hello guys. Now I'm recording this in the back camera and I'm just focused on it. Nice. There is no problem with the sound. And this is the result of the front camera. Okay, quite decent. And let's play the video from the front camera. Okay, hello guys. Now I'm recording. Okay, so nice. <clears throat> the quality is the same like the stock ROM, so there is no problem with the camera while taking a picture and also record the video. And you can see right here it's also quite snappy. It's better than, than stock ROM, it's much faster, lighter, and it doesn't have a blood wire. Okay, so I have uh, make a quick review of the ROM, the GPS is working, the root access is working, Wi-Fi and the email is working, there is no problem, the video playback was working perfectly and we can also take a picture and record video and the sound is great, okay, there is no problem. So, that's all guys, this is a tutorial on how to customize your Redmi Note 8 Snapdragon with the code name is Dimco and also a quick review. Okay, I think it is good enough for the Ready Driver. And I hope you like my video. If you find it very useful, please give it a thumb. And I also have lots of video about routing, custom ROM, and lots of fun. Okay, especially Xiaomi, Samsung Realme, Asus, and other stuff. Okay. Uh, you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum